Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be playing with the new ColourPop Valentine's Day collection. It is called the Love Me, Love Me Not collection and it's so cute. So if you want to see my thoughts, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Um, very exciting news. I got the new ColourPop Valentine's Day collection. Now it came the day that it launched and on its launch date, mostly everything sold out. So I apologize for that, but I still wanted to play with the collection. So this was very, very, very kindly gifted to me from ColourPop. I am honestly elated about that just because I just remember in college a couple of years ago my roommates and I were obsessed with ColourPop and I love ColourPop. I love their cute packaging. I know they come out with many things a little bit too often but whatever like it's affordable. The quality is really good for the price and I can't not ColourPop for that. Without further ado we're gonna get into the collection. I'm gonna show you what came in the package. We're gonna try some of the products on. Like I said I know pretty much everything is sold out. Hopefully they restock. I will let you know on my community tab as well as on Instagram. So hopefully when it restocks, I can help you out and tell you what's worth it and what's not. So we're going to start off. Accessories. Some cute accessories came out. This $9 mirror. Handheld mirror. I don't really use handheld mirrors. Honestly, is there a film over it okay i was like hoping there was a film over this because i was like this is not a good quality mirror if not but good quality mirror very very cute couple things i'm not using in today's video so we have the soul body shimmering dry oil in this very pretty pink color i really really like this i'm not going to use it today because i have no skin showing but i do love a product like this in the summer i have this actually already in my collection not this color so i know i do like these but i have to be careful and make sure i wash them at night because then it'll make my skin break out and it's not a cute look when that happens which by the way that pink truffle shimmering oil is still available as is this and this is really cute and underrated this is the all-nighter skincare mini kit it's $24 it is still available and I'm gonna show you I used a couple things so what I didn't use is the gel cleanser am to pm this is super cute great for travel I say all the time but then I never travel and it came with the rose overnight lip mask which I already put on and it's pretty nice. I really like the way that it feels. I don't know about it being like an overnight lip mask, but I think it's really great just sitting on the lip while you're doing your makeup and it tastes like roses. And this is by Fourth Ray, by the way, which is their skincare brand. There's a rose face milk and I love these face milks from Fourth Ray. So I've already applied that to my skin. And then finally we have a fresh AF energizing mist, which just feels, feels so good and so refreshing. So anyways, this is a cute little set, really great deal for some great skincare goodies. Let's get into the good makeup stuff that you guys have been waiting for. So we're going to start off with the eyeshadow palettes. Now, this is their second time launching these Natasha Denona-esque five pan minis. I haven't tried them before. I've only swatched them for the swatch portion. They're $10. So there's three different ones. So the first one is SWAK. Am I not cool enough? I don't know what that means. So this is the deepest one. It has like deeper kind of burgundy undertone vibes in here. We also have 143. So this one does have a pressed glitter in it, but it's hot, hot pink, perfect for Valentine's Day. And then this last one I think is my favorite, Melt For You. This is a peachy pink one, which I think is my favorite for the time of year. So we're gonna start off with applying. I'm just gonna do one of them, nothing crazy. I wanna get a cute look in. So I'm gonna apply just my ColourPop concealer as a base. As far as how they swatched, they all swatched decent, you know, nothing and groundbreaking in the makeup industry, but $10 a pop. I didn't expect a miracle to happen. I'm thinking like, how Valentine's-y do I want to go? Let's just go for it and go for the hot pink. So we're gonna use 143. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here, this pinky shade. I'm using an Alamar Cosmetics Grease Brush, which is really great and affordable. And I'm gonna blend this in my crease. You know, you guys saw me use my concealer, so it's un set so it's a little bit more sticky and we're doing good with the blending. I'm gonna blend it out in just a little bit. I'm feeling an obnoxious look today. By the way, I wanted to get in the in the um, 
<laughs> in the spirit. I actually bought these for my office at school for my students. Not that you guys would care, but I'm gonna be teaching on a cart and traveling to the kids' classrooms to teach. So then I realized there was no point in like having them. So I, I put them in my background here. And this is from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna wear this for Valentine's Day. Don't forget to put it underneath. I did another look this morning, so I have a little bit of a dark shadow from mascara. All right, here we go. We're gonna start in with this brighter pink color, LOML. Yep, my eyelids are about to be, they're about to be stained. You know what? I actually wanna take this. I'm gonna look crazy when I <laughs> take my makeup off because this kind of color will stain your eyelids, but. As you can see, I'm putting it all over my eyelid. And by the way, very, very pigmented. I'm not even using a packing brush, really. And wow, impressive. I am getting some glitter fallout though, because this shade does have some glitter particles in there, even though it's mostly a matte color. So I'm gonna need to wipe that away. So I do wanna add some depth. You can see the shade right here. I broke a little bit. I'm gonna go into the, the, the SWAK palette. I'm gonna use this shade MAC. It's like a reddish color. I'm gonna use that to see if we can just add a little bit of depth in. It is quite powdery, so just use a light hand, shake off your brush, and this is literally the perfect shade for adding in some depth. I mean, obviously this look is crazy, but I'm loving how it turned out. I'm gonna take a little bit of awe, cause this is a main palette that I do wanna use, and I'm gonna put it mostly like right here. Then I'm gonna kinda blend the edges a little bit inwards. This is very, very pigmented. And if you're not a pressed glitter fan, please skip this step. I'm gonna get a glitter glue. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna put just a touch of glitter glue down just to ensure that it doesn't fall. But please use a pressed glitter at your own risk. I'm just gonna put it everywhere because it's cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit more of MAC from the darkest shade, and I just, I love how this red shade adds depth to this look. Yes. Okay, cool. Perfect. So, so far, so good with these palettes. They're $10. The colors are really pretty. Now, are they unique? Do you have these colors? I mean, probably, especially if you have a little bit of a ColourPop collection, but what I do think is great about these is just how portable they are. They are $10. If you lose them, if you you break them it's not that big of a deal and they really do have very selected color stories so if you know you're going somewhere and you want a specific color story this is an easy way just to very lightly pack it and I think the quality is on par with ColourPop be careful with how you work with it as always shake off your brush use a light hand sometimes you might need to pack on a little bit more so yeah normal ColourPop formula really good I like them okay let's move on to the item that was the most hot and talked about item from the collection because these blushes are so adorable. So they came out with three blushes and they remind me a lot of blushes that Too Faced used to sell. And this has like a nice soft matte finish to it. It's just like a cute chunky heart. These apparently sold out like in a minute, you guys were telling me. And I can see why because they're gorgeous. And not only are they so adorable, they are beautiful, beautiful colors. They are $10 each, which is pretty pricey for an individual blush from ColourPop. I think, but I think with the packaging and stuff, you know, it's still pretty affordable. So let's go over the colors. The first one is the deepest one. This one is Love Me Not. And something to keep in mind about these blushes is I find that they didn't swatch very well. They're not very pigmented, which personally, I like that. I feel like a blush shouldn't be too pigmented, but we'll see how they apply. I haven't tried them on yet. This is my type. See, they don't swatch very good. And then this one is Kiss and Tell, which I think is gonna be the most natural. So I'm gonna apply apply to. We're gonna start off with Love Me Not. And I got a comment on my last video saying, you're using a brush that already had blush on it. Guys, bristle stain. I always wipe off beforehand. Stop wasting your time with those types of comments. Anyways, I mean, that applied a really pretty flush to my cheek. It's not patchy, and because it's not super pigmented, you're not over applying, and that color, so pretty. I like that a lot. I'm about to over apply here, but I did also wanna try my type, so I'm gonna wipe off my brush. I love a nice hot pink blush, so tap off your brush. Yes. ColourPop kills it with their blushes, honestly. I've always loved ColourPop blushes, and I 
don't know why they sold out so fast because I feel like blushes always sell out in the ColourPop collection. So they should know. I'm gonna just kind of push it into the skin, use my sponge to make it look a little bit more natural. Blushes, from what I can tell so far, obviously first impressions, these are a yes for me. If you are interested in these, when they restock, you better get up on it because they're beautiful colors. I think that's the thing I like the most about these. Obviously, yeah, super cute. But the colors that they chose for this collection are awesome. So they also included a Soul Shimmering Body Powder. So this is $10. I'm going to use it as a face highlighter today. I've never owned this formula before. So mine came broken. It's a very, very soft formula. I pushed it back in. So I don't want to hold this upside down for too long, but it looks stunning. So this is in the shade Pink Truffle. I'm going to use my Kaleidos H1 brush. And I think I'm going to love this, but we'll find out. Oh! <gasps> Yep, yep, $10. It's so pretty, it's a little bit glittery though. So if you don't like glitter in your highlighters, I don't think you will like this, but it goes perfect with this collection. It's so pretty, wow. I really like this. I'm gonna put some inner corner up here. Oh, honestly, this might be my favorite item in the collection. Here's the last item. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. So they came with a face stamp. It's $8 and I tried to remove it when I did my swatches and I can't get it to remove. So should I do it? I'm scared. Is right here stupid? I don't think it'll sh show up if... So cute though. Should I put it here too? Yeah, let's just do it. Okay, the problem, I did get a little bit of, whatever, it's fine. I didn't put it on that great, but <laughs> so cute. Okay, I'm gonna do line your lashes and lips because there was no lips in this collection, which I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to have like a pink lipstick set, but anyways, I'll be back. Whew, this turned out to be <laughs> very festive. Much more festive than I was intended, but that being said, like without these little hard things, the look is so pretty. I kind of wish I didn't, I didn't do that, but <laughs> whatever. Okay, so let's get into my final thoughts on the collection. Pretty much I have to say, sometimes ColourPop's collections I think are hit and miss. There's some collections that I love, some collections that I don't. I think legitimately this was a really great collection. I think half of that has to do with the fact that I just love the color pink. I love wearing it. I love the makeup looks that I can come up with in the pink family. So cute little mirror, obviously you don't need that. The skincare set, it's not a need, but it's very cute. Again, with this, I haven't tried it yet. The eyeshadow palettes, I think are cute. I don't think they're necessary. I don't think they're anything unique, but I really did have a fun time playing with them and they seem to be on par with the regular ColourPop formula if you're into that formula. Loved the blushes. I think they're really great quality. They're super cute and they're great collector's items if you're into collecting makeup with really cute packaging. And I just think it's really great for this time of year. And the colors that they chose were really great, really wearable. Again, not the most unique colors. You might already have the colors, but I'm happy with these. And then I think my favorite is actually probably the highlighter. I think it's just so glowy and so fun and so pretty. I don't know. I really like the highlighter. I don't think you need the stamp. Again, just kind of cute little extras in the collection that you don't need. But overall, it's a really cute collection. If you are interested in anything that you saw in the collection, you know, keep an eye out for a restock. I think everything is really good. And yeah. The sun is coming out. So I am getting way too white. Anyways, you guys, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.